What's up, everybody? This is Brian the Bromad. Welcome to another edition of Bromatic Life Adventures. Today, I am in Jackson, Tennessee, about to head to Linden, Tennessee. Why am I heading to Linden, Tennessee? What is a nomad? A nomad is a person who has no permanent abode, but moves about from place to place. Although I don't fit the classic definition of a nomad, I can definitely understand the peace and freedom that comes with that lifestyle. I consider myself a bromad. I invite you to come on this journey with me as I explore and experience the awesome people, places, and cultures this world has to offer. Welcome to Bromatic Life Adventures. Let's go. All right, so most of you all um, may know or you may not know that in January, I broke down and I sold my house. Um, when I first bought my house, it was just a house that I was able to get in 16 years ago. It was never my forever house. So because of the market, I just thought I would take advantage of the market. Um, initially, what I wanted to do was uh, purchase a fourplex. Um, the government has a program where if you purchase a fourplex and you live in it for one year, you are, you qualify to uh, buy the fourplex at only 3.5% down compared to the normal 20% down, that, which means I would save a lot of money. Also, what that would do is uh, if I lived in the fourplex for a year, for that year, I wouldn't have any rent. Also, my goal would be to keep the uh, thirty, keep the other three units occupied. So there'll be three units of tenants paying their their rent every month, uh, which would allow me to save money. It would allow me to pay off the mortgage with somebody else's money. And it would just uh, allow me to be rent free. So that's what I had in mind. In the process, um, of course, if you've seen some of my other episodes, you would know that I'm also considering buying an RV. Been trying to figure out, am I gonna buy a Class A uh, motorhome, which is my first choice. Um, my plan B would be to buy a, a, a travel trailer. If it was a Class A, it would be a pre-owned, of course, or a brand new travel trailer. And then also, which is the reason why I'm heading to Linden, Tennessee, watching two of my favorite YouTube channels, my RV YouTube channels, Traveling Robert. If you have not seen Traveling Robert, check them out. Uh, and then the RV lifestyle. I was sitting at home and then looking at my phone, looking at Facebook, and all of a sudden these advertisements came through for a land sale. I looked at it real quickly, um, looked like a nice piece of land in Tennessee, which I love Tennessee. I didn't think much of it. So I'm watching, watching Traveling Robert episode, and then I was watching RV Lifestyle episode, and I noticed that they said they just purchased some land that they're gonna put a couple of RV lots on. And so I thought about it, I said, I wonder if it's the same uh, piece of land in the advertisement that I saw. Lo and behold, it was the exact same uh, area of Linden, Tennessee, uh, the same development. It's called the Woodlands at Buffalo River in Linden, Tennessee. Now, the cool thing about uh, this property, and I don't know anything about buying land. This will be my first time if I decide to go with it. Whenever you buy property, sometimes there are stipulations in the county or the state uh, of things that you can and things you cannot do on this property. For example, um, sometimes when you buy land, you cannot... Um, buy the land unless you agree to build on it within a year or so. Um, with this particular land, I found out that it's virtually unrestricted. The only thing that I think that uh, they have restrictions on, I was told you cannot put a mobile home on there. If I wanted to, lead, to put a RV lot, which is what I'm thinking about doing, um, I'm actually thinking about doing a small, tiny home village maybe eventually over a period of time, put in small cabins um, or make a couple of RV lots and rent them out. I'm looking for residual income. So I'm going down to Linden, Tennessee 
the price is phenomenal which i'll tell you about here shortly and i'm looking for six acres i looked in dallas and for the same that's my timer telling me i need to leave and head down to linden but for the same price i can get these six acres from uh if i was to buy one acre in dallas it will be way more than the cost that i'm paying for this six acres if i decide to go with it so we're about to head down to linden tennessee am i going to buy the property or not we're going to check it out Nice little small town. Well, I decided to buy the land in Linden, prayed about it, took a leap of faith. Shout out to Nate, uh, the guy who sold me uh, the land. He was great. He explained everything. Um, I ended up, I went up there with the intention of getting six acres. I ended up with 10 acres at a very good price. Um, thanks again to Traveling Robert, um, because watching his video, uh, motivate me to even come up here and check it out as well as uh, RV lifestyle and Both of those channels influenced me, but when I saw it in person and saw the beauty of it. It was amazing I'm gonna go through the town. It's a little small nice little small town of Linden before I head back to Jackson I'm gonna show you what this town looks like This is a famous hotel in the city, Commodore Hotel. I guess this would be the, kind of like the courthouse. Yeah, the Perry County Courthouse. Nice little small city. I'm not quite sure. I believe I looked it up in, um, I believe the um, population is about 
11 or 1200. I'm gonna check that out and verify that. Here's the city hall. Funeral home. I like the history. I'm gonna have to look up the history of this area. So, I'm gonna be heading back to Jackson. Jackson's about an hour away. I'm excited about my property. Um, if you like this episode of me buying my, my first land in Linden, Tennessee, go ahead and like, subscribe, put a comment down below. Um, be checking out my channel because I'm gonna be developing the land in phases, starting out with an RV lot with hookups. I'll let you know more about that. Anyway, be safe. God bless.